guys, welcome back. You know, it's been a crazy couple weeks and I've been seeing some really great progress from you guys. I know anyone who wasn't there that last week didn't get a chance to work with clay. And so I did put some air dry clay in your package. Now, I only bought enough air dry clay for you guys. So I'm gonna be working with the regular clay. With the air dry clay, it can be a little dry sometimes and you might need a little bit of water to just make it a little wetter. Um, other things that would be helpful, if you have a start from tray from um, your mom buying a big pack of chicken or a hamburger uh, at home, it'd be nice to work on it just for easier cleanup. And a couple things that are helpful, like a spoon or a fork, um, I'll explain why as we're going through the video, and something to work kind of in fine detail. I have a little tiny uh, toothpick for us to be able to use today. Our project today is community spoons, and I'm gonna show you some examples right now. And now that you've seen them, you can see that there's a lot of variety. Now for this project, the first thing we're gonna do is sketch out our ideas, and then we're going to build um, when you are working with the clay, you want to make sure that you keep it moist. So if you put a piece of saran wrap over top, keep it in a sandwich bag, that'll help stop it from drying out. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sketch out our plan. I find this really helpful because once you start working with the clay, you're going to want to move pretty quickly. So one thing I'm going to suggest is, since you're trying to think of three things to represent you, Try to think of um, activities or sports or um, maybe something iconic about your family or maybe even like something that's just an inside joke works well for this as well. Um, with our examples, some of the things that you saw were people's favorite foods because I thought that that really defined them. So here we go. So for me, I think the three things that I'm going to pick to define me are going to be kind of centered around maybe art and teaching because those are kind of some of my bigger things, but maybe also about where I'm from. So I'm gonna make a shape that's gonna kind of represent New Jersey. It's a terrible New Jersey. I'll work on that more when I'm doing my hand drawing. And then I think I'm going to make one that's a little art palette with a painting thing. I know I really enjoyed doing that one and made my example last year. It was really fun to kind of plan out. So this is gonna be New Jersey, the state, because that's where I was born. This is going to be uh, something to represent painting, because I love to paint. And then the last thing I think I'm gonna do is maybe a little tiny cow. So my plan is to make a cow. and then the end of the spoon. Because, true story, I actually won a cow milking contest and beat my brother, Josh, who now owns a dairy barn. So that is a fun fact that I would like to include on my spoon. So we're gonna get started. I have my plan, and we're gonna start with some simple kind of pieces. So. The first thing we're gonna do is we are going to take the clay and we're going to use about a third of it. Um, when you guys are opening your bag, I want you to only use half the package. The other half the package we're gonna reserve for the plaster making project, which is next. So when we're making a spoon, it's pretty simple. Um, you're just gonna roll it out. make the top part of your spoon and then I'm going to use my thumb to flatten and shape the bottom of my spoon. So since this is going to be a decorative spoon it doesn't have to have a great lip that I could easily eat out of. Um, if you were building it out of real clay and fired it in a real kiln, um, you'd kind of have some more options, but these spoons are always decorative. They weren't really for eating from. 
So I've got my basic shape and I'm just gonna kind of smooth it with my fingers to get rid of any creases or any of the shapes that I wanna change. So kind of see that I've got my basic spoon shape. And then, so we're gonna work on making my different parts. So here is a piece to try to make my New Jersey. And this is kind of more like working with any type of modeling piece, right? You're just gonna kind of get it into the shape that you want. You could always use something to help cut out a shape, like for my New Jersey shape to kind of get it more to look the way I want. I'm gonna kind of sketch it out first on top and then I'm gonna go in and cut away the extra. Sorry, I know you can't see when my hands are in the way. Okay. To kind of get the shape. And then from there, I'm gonna work on adjusting it how I want. So probably want it a little flatter. Gonna spend a little more time kind of getting the bottom of New Jersey to look more like the bottom of New Jersey. And I'm gonna work on kind of getting it into shape. Now, that being said, I'm gonna work on um, sticking it to the spoon next. So with air dry clay, just like regular clay, um, slipping and scoring is your best way to get a good attachment. So on the back, you can use a fork to be able to kind of make some little marks on the back to kind of rough up the shape. You could also use this like the toothpick to get the same effect. But in case you didn't have a toothpick, a fork is generally like works too. And then because it's air dry clay and not regular clay, you guys are just gonna bring this over. You guys are just gonna dip it into the water a little bit to get it wet. And then you're gonna rough up the part where you're gonna stick it, and then you're gonna just put them together. Just like slipping and scoring we did in grade seven, if you had me in our pen. Um, but the difference is because you're working with air dry clay, you don't really have the same slip to be able to put in between. So you're just gonna add a little bit of water to kind of get that same shape. And then I'm gonna take my shape and I'm gonna blend it in. So if you can see, I'm just kind of pulling the clay across, kind of get it to be nice and smooth to get it to attach. And if I still don't like the shape, it's clay, right? It's easy to be able to like bend it and change it and to kind of alter the shape. I added the different uh, pieces so that I have my uh, cow, my little art palette, and New Jersey. Um, I'll put a picture up right now so you can see it up close. So at this point, um, I've got everything added. I've made sure to score the backs of both of the pieces before I put a little water on to make sure that it would stick. And at this point, it's just time for cleanup. Now, if you were smart and worked in the tray, like I suggested, your cleanup is going to be really quick and easy. If you worked on the table like I did, um, it's going to be a pretty big mess. Um, soap and water should take it off. It just will take a little bit of time. Um, make sure after you've done your first cleanup, you let it dry, come back and check because there's probably some fine particles of clay that are kind of spread all over the surface. Because remember, we kind of talked about this in grade seven a little too, have you been? Um, because clay is like super fine, um, it will spread all over the surface that you have it on, um, especially if it's a really smooth surface and it likes to kind of spread out and take over. So that's why I suggested working in the styrofoam. Um, you wouldn't have worked to be able to like show you everything. I, we're gonna let it dry. Once it's dry, if you have paints at home, you can always finish painting it that way and adding some color. 
Um, if you don't, you can always just leave it in the raw and take a picture and upload it to me like that. As always, if you run into problems, just give me a shout. Um, you can always send me a message through Microsoft Teams. You can always um, email me at the school um, to be able to kind of get a hold of me and for me to be able to talk to you. I can always video chat, which is kind of easy because I can see everything. Um, or I can send you messages or pictures. There will be a handout that goes with this. So you can always look through that for the steps as you're going along too. All right, good luck and I look forward to seeing all your work. Bye.